Kubernetes pods are probably one of the most common resources in Kubernetes. They are a collection of one or more containers. Uh, the containers that live within the pod share the same network and storage. This means that any containers with the same pod can talk to each other through local hosts and they can access the same storage or the same volume. Pods are designed to be ephemeral. Uh, that means that they can uh, live for a very short time because they can get rescheduled uh, to run on different nodes or they can crash or they can get restarted. Uh, that means that every time your pod is restarted, your containers will be restarted as well. When you create a pod within Kubernetes, Kubernetes will assign a unique IP address to the pod. Uh, the containers that live inside your pod can listen to different ports. Uh, in this example, we have the upper container that's listening on port 3000 and the container at the bottom that listens on port 5000. So if I would try to use the IP address with the port 3000, the request will go to the first container. And if I would use the same IP address and port 5000, the request will go to the bottom container. Now, if I'm in the upper container, if I use localhost 5000, I'm able to call the second or the bottom container as well. If your pod restarts, it will get a different IP address. Uh, for that reason, you could not really rely on uh, the IP address of a pod. So if you're talking to your pods directly using the IP address, you're doing something wrong. There is an abstraction or a resource in Kubernetes called a Kubernetes service. And service is the resource that you can use to communicate or talk to your pod. So a Kubernetes service will give you a stable IP address and a DNS name. I'll talk about services in one of the uh, later videos. Another property of pods that we're mentioning is that all containers that live inside the same pod will get scaled together. So in the figure, you can see how scaling from a single pod to uh, four pods would look like. Note that you cannot scale individual containers within the pod. The pod is the unit of scale. Now, you might think that, oh, this is nice. I could have a single pod with my application and maybe a database running inside the same pod. No, you should not be doing that. First, uh, in most cases, your database will probably not scale at the same rate as your application or your application container. Now you have to remember that when you're scaling the pods, all containers inside that pod will scale as well, not just a single uh, container. Second, running a stateful workflow, which a database is, is a bit different than running stateless, stateless workloads or stateless services. For example, you have to ensure that the data is persisted between the pod, uh, when the pods restart, and that the restarter pods always have the same network identity. Uh, resources like persistent volumes and stateful sets can be used to uh, achieve this. 